Okay. So we know um, when we think about the current going in here, it could make the light turn on. Or when the current goes into my laptop, the laptop can do something. So current is useful because it can let us do work. But how much work? So the question now is, How much work can my current do? So, um, here's my One amp. One amp. I'll give it a moment. Now, if you look at these two pictures, these are two light bulbs. The light's coming out. Um, but they're not both the same level of brightness. Maybe this one is brighter than this one here. And you might wonder, but why? Because they're both the same. One coulomb per second, one amp is going into each light bulb. So there's something else which we need. Um, current doesn't tell us all the information about how much work can be done. We need something else called uh, voltage. Now, or volt, volts. Now, again, I think this is also on the plug. If not, yeah. This one. Ah. Anyways, it's not printed on things. It's on. It's on. It's on the back of some stuff somewhere. I think it's. I know it's on this one, isn't it? No, it's beyond the battery. Anyways. All right. So if you have one coulomb. and you move it and it can do one joule of work we call or we say we say we have one volt between a and B. So what I'm trying to get you to picture is um our one coulomb One coulomb could maybe do lots of work, <coughs> maybe not much work. It depends on something called the voltage between the two points. So if I go back to my picture here, if this is really, really bright, it means when one coulomb moves from here to here, it has a big voltage. Yeah. PD as well, potential difference, yeah. And then this one here, when it moves from here to here, this one has a small voltage.
Um, another word for PD, as I said, is for voltage. Um, voltage is sometimes called PD for potential difference. Okay, so. If I go down. Um, so I think I'm going to show you something uh, here. Let me think. Um, well, no, maybe we can use maybe we can use our imagination. So um, you can picture like a waterfall. Okay. So the water flows down, and when the water passes through him, it's going very fast. So he could use the water to maybe turn a wheel, okay? Now what happens when the water gets to who? Is it still going as fast or is it going slower? Slow. It's going slower. Do you think if he took his wheel away, would it be going faster or slower for... It would be going faster for... For who? So the water example is a bit like here with the current. If I have one coulomb and he's a light bulb and he's a light bulb, mm -hmm. when this coulomb goes to him, he lights up. But when it goes to him, it's not as bright. It's a bit like with the water. It's going slower. So it can do less work. That's what the the voltage is as well. He uses the voltage, leaving less for him. You know, so the voltage, uh, I can kind of think of it like the Coulomb has a little voltage measurement, and uh, when it does some work, so it does a job and passes to the next thing it's not as full it's maybe used half its voltage so when it does the next job it can't do as much so um, I think now we should also now since we're talking about voltage uh, we should actually give the formula first so we have If you want to know how much work or how much energy can be done, the formula is actually from the definition. It's pretty simple. It's the current multiply the voltage. That's how much work can be done. So for example, how much work could to Coulombs under five volts V for volts. I'll write in volts. Do oh, answer is just ten. This could do ten joules of work. Okay. Next. Coulomb's just a charge. Coulomb's just a charge, yeah. Okay. When voltage is used up, we say the charge met, and here's a new word here, resistance. So we have our charge, and here is 
high voltage. Ah, who's this going to be? Hey, why are you so late? I think you missed it. Did you? Okay. Step over, so. So what I'm trying to get with this picture here is when your charge goes from a high voltage to a low voltage, we say that there was some <coughs> resistance in between. So like with my water example, uh, when the water passes through him and gets to who, it's going slower. So it was going fast and then it was going slow. So then he's like the resistance in between. He's slowing the water down. So resistance is what makes the voltage go down. <coughs> so we have a, a way to measure resistance. We measure resistance in ohms, that's the unit. And the symbol looks a little bit strange, but this is the symbol here. And here's the definition. When one coulomb loses one volt, we say it passed through one ohm of resistance. Okay? Yeah? Okay, so this is how we draw the resistance here. We draw it like a rectangle. So, for example, here is our one coulomb, here is our one coulomb. Maybe here there could have been maybe 10 volts, then here there's 9 volts. So, how many volts were lost? Mm -hmm. One volt. So, here we say there was one ohm of resistance. Uh, so let's change it a little bit. Let's say instead of one coulomb, let's say it was 10 coulombs and 10 volts, let's say now to 0 volts. Ah yeah, but I tricked you here because now I changed it to 10 coulombs. So it lost 10 volts, but it lasted for 10 coulombs. So how many volts did it lose per coulomb? One. So it's actually still the same. So we need a formula to relate the voltage, the current, and the resistance. And actually the formula, you can get it from the definition, is just this. V equals I R. Most books call it Ohm's Law, although it really isn't, but I'll call it Ohm's Law.
So it's a way to relate the voltage, the current, and the resistance together. Now, after all these definitions, we can start having a look at some um, problems. But actually, before I do, um, do you remember what we used to measure current? What measures current? A meter. A meter, yeah. So what do you think measures voltage? Voltmeter. Now, I just want to show you two important ways voltage and current are measured. Uh, I mean, uh, important differences to how they're measured. So if I want to, yeah, if I want to measure current, I just put the ammeter in the middle, and then I can measure the current, okay? But if I want to measure voltage, I can only measure voltage like this, between two points, A and B, and then I connect the voltmeter around it like this. So I never ever put the voltmeter in the middle like this, okay? I never do that. I always connect it outside like this between two points. This is important because one of your lab experiments, <coughs> you'll have to use these. Um, I think, I think if there's enough time today, I'll go back to the teacher's room and I'll get it because I have a voltmeter and an ammeter in the teacher's room. I can show you how they work. But anyway, for the moment, you just connect them like this. Now, another important difference, this can tell you the total current you know, example, it could say like 2 amps. But this can only tell you the voltage difference between A and B. So for example, if this set here 3 volts, Okay, what that means is at A, there are 3 more volts than at B. But it doesn't tell you how many there are in total. It just tells you the difference between the two. So it's a bit like me saying um, the height difference between these two are 5 centimeters. I don't tell you his height, I don't tell you his height. I can only tell you the difference between the two. Okay, but with current, current is easier to measure uh, or easier to get the total. The current can just is everything. Okay, whereas with voltage, it can only tell you the difference between the two levels. Yeah. Okay. So now we can have a look at some uh, circuits now. this word before in day-to-day -day life? When's the last time you saw this word? Where? 
Yeah. Well, where were the last time you saw it? Yeah, but give me an example. Battery. Battery, yeah. You know, when you go buy a battery for your camera or your phone, they would say on the battery something like this, maybe. There's your battery. And on the side, it might say 1.5V. Yeah? Why don't you check? Can you check your battery on your phone? Uh, that's why it's stupid. <laughs> yeah, right. This one here, my battery is 3.7. You got yours? So you're looking for a number like this 3.7B. 3.8. Yeah? Good, okay. So every battery has a voltage. 1.5? Yeah. <coughs> yes, it is. Yes. We'll look at that later. This one says 1.5 on it, does it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just tells you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say we have this battery here. This is how we draw our batteries. We draw them like this. This is the negative side and this is the positive side. Okay, so make note of that. The big ones the positive, the small ones the negative. Positive. Yeah. So this is our first circuit. The current leaves the positive and goes around, around, and then back. So this is called our circuit. And it's important that you have one complete loop, one cycle like this. Of course, this is no good. It doesn't do anything. All I did was take a battery and connect it back to itself. Yeah. Now, what's more interesting, let me put a light here. So this is how we draw the light bulb then, like this. Okay. And let's say this light bulb is two ohms. So my question first question to get us started is what is the cur uh, current yeah. So can you calculate this for me? You can use the formula I gave you. per second is okay. So what form did you use? V equals IR. Say again? V equals IR. V equals IR. So you have 1.5 equals I multiplied 2. So you get I equals 0 0.75 amps, yeah, or coulombs per second. Did you draw that? I'm going 
có số um, Okay, I'll just give you another quick part here. So part two is what is the Q? So I need to give you some time here. So let's say this is on for 10 seconds. So what's the total charge that goes around? Sorry, you can't see it there. Yeah, so what formula do you need to use for that? Yeah, I've only given you two, haven't I? These two? So that equals 0 0.75 multiplied 10, 7.5 coulombs. Oh yeah, might as well put that in. So last question, how much work was done. So work equals IB equals zero point seven five times one point five. So what do you get? One point Oh wait, hang on now. I think um sorry, I left something out of my formula earlier. Here, sorry. I B T. Can you add that in please? I left that T. <coughs> So here, <laughs> yes, I should have given you a time as well. We'll just say one second so I don't have to change the number. So if you just change this one here, so I also have to multiply by, I also have to multiply by time, 10. Uh, so I'll say 1 point, no, 11.25. 11.25 joules. Okay. Um, I'm going to draw one for you. There's a little switch. Okay. Uh, actually, let me. I know what I'll do. I'll add in a light bulb here. And uh, this here is for measuring current. Okay, so then we close the switch. The light goes on. So the information you have is this is a 1.5 volt battery, this is a 1.5 volt battery, and the ammeter says uh, it reads, uh, let's say, 3 amps. So my question. <coughs> What is the resistance the light bulb is providing? So what is the OR? Okay, I'll give you a minute to, to get this for me. You got one?
Okay. So, who has an answer? You're getting an answer? You have an answer? Louise, do you have an answer? Maybe, yeah. You have an answer? Do you have an answer? Okay. What's your answer, Young? Say again? 0 0.25? 0 0.5. 0 0.5, okay. What's your answer? 1. Louise, do you have an answer? Not yet? Yeah. Minus one. Minus one? Oh, one, 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 two. Okay. I'm sorry, I think the answer might be one. And the reason is I tricked you. <laughs> the reason I tricked you is because yeah. the two batteries. Yeah, well, what do we do? Two batteries. Well, when we have two batteries, you see, I didn't tell you this. I was wondering what you would do. These get added together to make a total of 3 volts. So you use V equals I or 3 equals 3 or. So then R equals 1. So Young, I tricked you uh, because you have to add them when you have 2. Yeah. They work together. Yeah? It's interesting, and um, by the way, if you have this battery, 10 volts, and this battery, 6 volts, then that's the same as one big battery, 16 volts. Yeah. If you turn this around, so now it's like this, 10 volts, 6 volts. What do you think? Yeah, what number do you think? Four. Yeah. When the batteries are like this, they work together mm -hmm. to make a bigger battery. When they're like this, they work against each other to make a smaller battery. You, um, you know this doll because um, do you ever put batteries in the toys? You know the AA batteries? Yeah. yeah. So you always put them in and they always touch the positive with the yeah. negative. Like this here. Positive with the negative. You never put positive and positive together. Because if you do, you make the result smaller, not bigger. Okay, so we'll go on to more difficult ones now. Can I close this one? Yeah? Okay.